Okay, Coach, so conference play started this weekend. I know it wasn't the results you wanted, but there's always positives you can take away from matches. So what were some of the positives you took away from this weekend? Yeah, I think, uh, you know, the, the, um, the work rate was good. The team focused pretty well. Um, but I think, unfortunately, the main thing we got out of the weekend was teaching points, things we need to improve upon. So that, that, that in and of itself can be good at some time. So, you know, I'm really confident in this group. They've done a great job. We just have to learn. We have to learn. We have to improve. We have to get better each week. Furman is the next opportunity. One of the things that stuck out to this group so far is they do seem to learn. Every time there's a learning experience, they do seem to learn and take it and grow with it. How, how important is that for a young team to be able to grow like they are right now? That's really important. I mean, the thing that these guys are doing is adjusting to the college game, adjusting to the, the way that we want them to play. Some of them are playing slightly different roles than, they, than they're used to playing. And so it's all a bit of a process, you know. And uh, every opponent then throws at you a new set of things, a new uh, look, a new way that they try to solve, uh, you know, set, set problems at you. And our guys have to adjust to that at the same time. So again, it's all about the development of a soccer player, the development of the team. I'm really happy with how this group is coming along. And as long as we can keep moving forward, we'll be in good shape. And looking ahead to this week, a familiar face coming to town, a former player of yours. Does it ever get any less cool seeing somebody that you used to coach coaching on the other side? Yeah, Doug Allison brings his team in and Charlie Arndt, both of them uh, former Gamecock greats. Uh, and it's great to have them. You know, they've done such a great job with the Furman program. Doug won his 300th game at Furman, I think, last week. And so congratulations to them. They've, they've just done a great job. And, yeah, it'll be always a big challenge, always a good team, always a great uh, game here at the Graveyard. Yeah, kind of answer the next question about uh, this familiar foe. What, what should fans expect when Furman comes to town? Yeah, I think they're a very mobile team, a very good attacking team. They don't make a lot of mistakes defensively. They're always a team that's in the hunt for the championship in the Southern Conference. So uh, we know that it'll be, a, it'll be a big test. And lastly, again, not the results you wanted this weekend, but it's important to remember it was only one match. Is that a talk you've had with a team that, hey, we still got a long season ahead of us here? Yeah, I think we look at a couple of things. I mean, we want to get the result every time we go out. That's critically important. But we also look within the game of what are what lessons did we get from this game? What did we do well? What do we need to improve upon? What can we build upon for the future? And there were many, many more things that we could build on in the future from this game than might be apparent to the to the casual fan looking at it. So uh, I'm excited about what I saw when I looked at the game film. Uh, disappointed that, that we didn't get the result. So uh, you know we've got to we've got to do that going forward. But the way you do that is by breaking down the little pieces and doing everything a little bit better. And there was a lot of good in that, uh, in this match. Alrighty, thank you for your time, Coach, and good luck this week. Great, thanks.